Morning folks! Today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm running an experiment in composting. Uh, last year to heat my greenhouse I tried warming the soil underneath my tomatoes with electric soil heating cables. That was a disaster. It didn't work at all. So this year I'm going to try running uh, my irrigation line under the soil and running hot water through it. Use hot water to warm the soil up. was going to put an electric hot water heater down here. I'm, I'm amperage limited uh, in my greenhouse by the amount of what I've got coming from the breaker. So I've seen a lot of great videos on YouTube about how to heat water using compost heat. So I'm going to try that this year. Before I do that, I need to run a small experiment to see just what kind of compost, composting method to use. Now the two things I've got in abundance here on the farm are straw. I ordered about 17 bales of straw a couple of months ago uh, to use to roll out for my back to Eden garden thinking I'm going to need a whole bunch. Uh, it turns out four will be all that I'm ever going to need in the greenhouse, which leaves me a, a whole lot left over. So I got plenty of straw. The other thing I have a lot of is manure. With uh, two cows and a horse and four sheep, I've got manure, all that I could possibly want. So what I'm going to do is using this little method that I found, I think it was Penn State, maybe it was Indiana University. Um, I'm going to do two small scale experiments uh, with, uh, with these Coke bottles. What I'm trying to find out is, can I compost the straw as is, straight out of the bale, or am I going to need to shred it first into smaller amounts and then compost it? I'm trying to see which method works better. So, to start this experiment, I've got two of these bottles here. What I've done is I've cut the top off of one bottle, a little bit larger than what's cut off of this one, so it, so it stays on like that. And I'm going to take two of these. One of them is going to be filled with just straw straight out and one of these, I'm, I don't know, measurements here, so I'm just going to have one bottle full plus one cow patty um, in each one, although looking at the size of the cow patty, I'm thinking maybe half a cow patty per. Uh, so that's all I'm going to use. Now let's, um, let's show what we're going to do. All right, step one, I'm going to fill the jar here. Wow, I've, uh, I've got way too much straw for this. Fill it with as much straw as I can stuff in there. I'm just going to use one, one jar's worth, one Coke bottle's worth, and then take this out and shred it. All right, so I'm just taking the machete and channeling John Belushi from uh, Saturday Night Live. I'm just going to try to hack this up or possibly find some other method to shred it with. A uh, lot more might work. Anyway, I will do my best to uh, off-camera shred this without, with, uh, and still maintain my dignity. And uh, we'll come back and see how much it's shred down to. Well, slow and steady wins the race. And it's slightly less embarrassing. All right, uh, as it turns out, I'm sure you probably thought of it already, dry straw will, will cut and shred. Uh, the wet straw will not. So, ah, who knew? Well, apparently you did. All right, so step one, I got our cow patty here. I think it's from dough. Chop it up. We're going to add the straw that I've shredded up. All right, mix it up. All right, we got it all mixed up. Now we're just going to stuff it in there. Now my Mr. Cameraman thinks that I shouldn't touch him. Oops. Mr. Cameraman there thinks I shouldn't touch him until I wash my hands. But I mean, this is just processed grass is all it is. It's not gross at all. Now, one thing I will say, uh, as with any compost, the uh, the ratio of carbon to nitrogen is always critically important. Uh, what I've read is 30 to 1 is about the ratio that you want. Now, straw is about 80 to 1 by itself. I'd like to see if straw will compost, kind of like sawdust, I mean, wood chips will compost on their own. I see if straw will compost on its own, but uh, I'm doing that right now. So I, I actually may have more nitrogen in here than I need. This is about 50-50 uh, manure to straw, at least with this shredded stuff. Now I'm going to uh, get it nice and wet, just dunk it in a, dunk it in a, 50, a five gallon bucket of water. Get it all nice and dump that out. And then we will, uh, now, um, one thing to make sure this has holes in the side of it to allow air to come through. And we may put more holes if we see that 
it's not, if, it, we'll see if, it's, if it's rotting in that compost, we know there's not enough air in there. We're also going to take the lid off. All right, so there is number one with shredded, shredded hay. Now we'll try the, the second one. Now one thing I'm noticing is it's a lot harder to mix the manure in with the straw when it's this long. I'm having to do this by hand. And I'm sure this is an experiment every one of you at home wants to recreate. But anyway, that's one thing I am noticing that it's, it's as long as it is, it's hard to mix up. All right, we're ready to stuff this. Grab the bottle. Here we go. It's also a little harder to stuff. And I suspect I'm getting less straw in there than in the first batch. Well, that makes sense. Anyway, the whole point of this is I would love to be able to compost this straw as effectively straight out of the bale, nice and long, as it will shred it up. So we will see. All right, there is bottle number two. All right, so here we go. Compost bottle A, non-shredded straw. Compost bottle B, shredded straw. I'm going to stick this in the garden shed. I always don't take them inside, but I don't think my wife would appreciate that. So stick these in the garden shed, give it three or four days, and we'll start taking temperature readings. So until next time, y'all take care.